Joe Arpaio gets away with it because he doesn't have to deal with the courts that California has to deal with. There are executions in Texas because they don't have to deal with the courts that California has to deal with. I want to tell you folks, that's been one of my very upfront personal frustrations. I have been sued so many times by inmates. I've been named as the chairman of the board of all these major class action lawsuits by inmates. I used to go into my legal unit. I had a legal unit. I said, who'd you sue for me today? And then look funny, and I said, look, just one inmate while I'm here, I want to sue for something. They're all suing me. I want to sue one of them. I don't care for what, just sue them for something. It's really a frustration. But these federal courts are so very tough to deal with, and they are costing us billions. And guess what? I have to brag a little bit. I just had a huge victory. Six years ago, I tried to float the idea of creating an HMO for inmates. An HMO for inmates. Now, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but I think it's a good idea because if we had an HMO built in, it would get cost contained, save money. And that's the big out of control cost in prisons. And it would have limited the ability of federal judges to say inmate health care is whatever I want it to be, and I can back a dump truck to the treasury and pay any money my money out I want. Okay, it would have said level. I got nowhere. Three cabinet secretaries of this administration, three agency secretaries, and one federal receiver just stonewalled. Earlier this year, I pushed again, and it got some legs. The new federal receiver got very interested in it. We had a good meeting, several good meetings. Governor Schwarzenegger got interested in it. The University of California got interested in it. So I put in a bill. In the assembly, the more liberal than Jim Nielsen committee, made it just a study. The Senate committee, who was more liberal than that committee, killed the bill two weeks ago. So I was a little frustrated, and, and one of the unions got up and argued against the bill. Well, they are a union for state employees who do some of that work that they don't want privatized or cost-contained. And I happened to get in the face of that. But the bill got defeated. But glory of glories, the very next day, Clark Kelso, federal receiver, put out a press release announcing he teaming up with HealthNet to create an HMO for inmates. Do you all then, I would say, my logic would say, who think inmates have better health care than you, I can argue, no, they don't. They've got exactly the same health care that you do. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> well, now, that's uh, Obamacare is on the way, so I guess we'll get a little bit worse shortly. 